and welcome everybody. Excited to be able to present a little bit more about what's going on in the world of Viva Topics today. I'm Naomi Moneypenny and I lead product development for the product for inside of Microsoft Viva. And hopefully you'll get some insights into all of the goodness that we have recently shipped and all of the exciting features that you get to use today. Now, this is part of a couple of series for us. We have a focus today on what is new, and then we also have a quick video to help you understand what's coming next as part of what we're doing. So today I wanted to tell you about a couple of resources that are most effective for your organization. These are based on the learnings that we have had from the customer adoption program that we've been running for the last couple of years. First off, if you want to have a healthy pilot inside of your organization, if you're wondering how to get started with what we do with Viva Topics, here is a 60 day approach that's been laid out and battle tested by many other customers. We think it's a great resource for you to be able to go through, understand what value you get from Viva Topics and understand how to make that knowledge network successful for your organization. For the adoption guide, we really think about this as a great way to think about rolling out and deploying broadly inside of your organization. So once you've gone through that pilot stage and now you're thinking about how do I increase the effectiveness of my knowledge network? How do I make sure that people are feeling that topics is a part of their everyday work? We have the adoption guide that lays out many of the key strategies to success. So with that, I'm going to hand over. We're going to do some feature updates now so you can see what's new inside of Viva Topics and some of the exciting features that you have access to today. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Eric. Thanks, Naomi. One of the, the new features that we're most excited about is the Outlook Win32 desktop integration pictured here. Uh, we had previously integrated with the Outlook web clients, uh, but this is brand new to your tenants. Uh, the idea is that AI is automatically detecting topics in the context of emails that you receive. And when we find a topic, we highlight, highlight that in the context of the, the Viva Insights panel that you see on the right side here. So listed here are all the topics that have been detected within the email. A user can click into each of these individual topics and get more information about the topic. The metadata you would find here is similar to what you would find on the topic page. So, so things like the associated people, the associated resources, as well as a, a definition for the topic. Um, we understand that this is not all that discoverable, however. And so one of the ways that we are calling your attention to the fact that topics are detected within the email is via the use of these nudges. So these nudges will appear in the, the header of an email whenever we find a, a topic and encourage you to click through to learn more and open, open that panel that you saw on the previous screen. Look out for these features in the Outlook Win32 desktop client and be sure to test the existing features in Outlook, the Outlook web application. And with that, I will turn it over to Akash to speak more about the people card as well as answers. Thank you, Eric. So Viva Topics helps you find people and content connected to topics in your org. With this, we are bringing topics to the people profile card and you are associated with topics based on the content that you've authored or edited. Users will be able to seamlessly identify subject matter experts and contact them easily should the need arise. We are also excited to bring answers and topics. You can get your questions answered about a topic, get the recognition and satisfaction for helping others with your expertise and help users have a culture of knowledge sharing. With this, I'm passing it off to Manika. Thanks, Akash. Now let's shift our focus to knowledge managers briefly. We have heard from organizations and knowledge managers that it can be rather daunting to manage potentially thousands of topics. So we heard you, we understand that, and now we've improved the managed topics experience in the topic center, making it all the more efficient. We have these new filtering options that enable knowledge managers to filter by the source of the topic, whether it's user generated, coming from AI, coming from Viva Engage, taxonomy, et cetera, and whether it has a description as well. So we're excited to see this enable and empower so many knowledge managers and organizations. We also have a new experience that is available not just to Viva Suite or Topics licensed users, but also anyone with a Viva Engage license will now have access to this lightweight version of Topics in Viva Engage. In this experience, Engage acts as a central knowledge base for manually created topics. 
admins can still edit, create, and delete these topics, and they get tagged to posts and conversations so that your engaged users can utilize topics and discover knowledge in the flow of their work. So we're excited to bring these experiences to engage, and that is 100% available in this month of July. That's all we have for you today in the What's New video of our Summer 2023 series. We hope this excites you as much as it excites us. Um, and please do click on to the next video in this series we'll, where we'll go over what's next. And lastly, here is a slide with some helpful resources that we'll link in the description of this video. It's got our use case scenario catalog, that adoption playbook, and a lot more. So thanks for watching and following the Viva Topics journey.